good morning student already we saw the lesson we are completed everything so moving on to the revision revise it properly look at the board first one fill in the blanks the place value of 5 in 8 lakh 54,623 yes the place value of 5 yes the place value means yes the place value of the digit depends on the position of the digit here 5 is which place 10,000 place so we have write 50,000 isn't it 5 is 10,000 place so 50,000 In one forty-three thousand hundred and sixty-two plus nineteen thousand four hundred and eighty-seven plus fifty-five thousand nine hundred and ninety-six equal to dash plus nineteen thousand four hundred and eighty-seven plus fifty-five thousand nine hundred and ninety. Now look at first three numbers here. Second and third numbers we get the bracket. We get equal to here first two numbers we get the bracket. Is it? That is called the grouping property. Three numbers added in any order given the same answer. Okay, so the four answer yes, forty-three thousand hundred and sixty-two. Now look at the third sum. Zero divided forty-eight thousand six hundred and twenty-nine. We can divide it from any number to zero. We get the answer yes, zero. Now look at the fourth one. Five thousand seven hundred and sixty-two plus dash equal to five thousand seven hundred and sixty-three. Here dash comes one because here added for one in any numbers we get the answer comes to just after the given number, isn't it? Here comes add one, so five thousand seven hundred and sixty two plus one is equal to five thousand seven hundred and sixty three, isn't it? Now look at the fifth one, multiply six into eleven is equal to six eleven sir, yes sixty six. Then sixth one, ninety seven thousand one hundred and twenty three minus ninety seven thousand one hundred and twenty three. See, got it dash here when the number itself the subtracted from a given number, we get the answer as zero because both numbers are same, isn't it? Both numbers are same, so we get the answer subtracted from we get the answer as zero. Once again, the place value of five in Eight lakh fifty-four thousand six hundred and twenty-three is yes five is ten thousand so fifteen thousand. Here adding property here comes only forty-three thousand one hundred and sixty-two. Here zero divided by forty-eight thousand six hundred and twenty-nine. We divided from any number to zero. We get the answer yes zero. Here five thousand seven hundred and sixty-two plus one is equal to. Five thousand seven hundred and sixty-three. Here added from any number to one, we get the answer just given the after number. Okay, multiply six into eleven. Six eleven is sixty-six. Here six is some ninety-seven thousand one hundred and twenty-three minus ninety-seven thousand one hundred and twenty-three. Here both numbers are same, so we get the answer yes zero. Because subtractive, isn't it? When a number itself. When a number itself is subtracted from a given number, we get the answer is is zero. Look at the seventh one. To multiply a number by hundred, we put dash zero in the right of the number as two zero, isn't it? We, because we can multiply by the hundred, so we get the answer comes to two zero, isn't it? Now look at the example. Five into hundred is equal to we get the answer yes five hundred. Here hundred we can multiply, so we get the how many zeros? Yes, two zeros, isn't it? So to multiply a number by hundred, we put two zeros in the right of the given number. Okay, here ten means one zero, here thousand means three zero. Eighth one, a number which is the sum of all its factor except that number itself is called the yes perfect number. Okay. A number which is the sum of all factors. Expect the number itself is called the perfect number. Now look at the perfect example here. Uh, take a factor or number six. The factors of yes, one, two, three, and six, isn't it? Because we can multiply by the six. Yes, one table, then two table, 
then 3 table, then 6 table, isn't it? So we can divide it by 6 in 1 table, 2 table, 3 tables and 6 table. Now we can add up these 3 numbers. 1 plus 2 plus 3. 1 plus 2 is yes, 3. 3 plus 3 is yes, 6. So we get the yes. Expect that number, isn't it? So 6. That is the perfect number. Now 9th one, the number that comes just before the given number is called is yes, predecessor. Here before means predecessor. Here after means yes, successor. Okay. Then 10th one, numbers that have only two factors are called as yes, prime numbers. Only two factors, one and number itself. Okay. That is called the prime numbers. Once again, 7th uh, one, to multiply a number by 100, we put two zeros in the right of the number. 8th one, the number which is the sum of all factors is that expect the number itself is called the yes. Perfect number, sum of all factor, okay, it's called the perfect number. The number that comes just before the given number is, is predecessor. The numbers that have only two factors are called, is prime numbers, okay. Dear children, take your max note, uh, write, uh, fill in the blanks 1 to 10 in your max note one time. Thank you.